Vitreous floaters are common and often result from the natural process of vitreous deterioration. Because of this, it can be easy to underestimate their debilitating impact in symptomatic patients. A floater's impact on patient quality of life depends on its size, density and location. These characteristics also determine whether it can be treated. Symptomatic floaters often reside in the middle to posterior vitreous. The Weiss ring floater, commonly caused by posterior vitreous detachment, is usually located a safe distance from the crystalline lens and the retina. Because of this, it can often be effectively treated with laser floater treatment. With advances in technology, laser floater treatment can be a safe and effective treatment for floaters. Reflex technology from LX includes true coaxial illumination and a superior efficient energy beam profile designed specifically for the treatment of symptomatic floaters. True coaxial illumination allows you to visualize floaters in both on-axis and off-axis slit lamp positions. This in turn permits titratable illumination for optimal visualization. It also provides the necessary spatial context of the floater in relation to other structures in the eye to ensure safe treatment. With a contact lens placed on the eye, the reflex technology laser is focused onto the floater. The laser creates plasma energy, which evaporates the collagen and hyaluronic acid molecules within the floater, converting them into a gas which is then absorbed into the eye. Because the laser energy is delivered to inert proteins, not living tissue, there is no induced inflammation. It's recommended to start with a low level of energy and titrate up until there is adequate vaporization of the floater collagen. With reflex technology, the plasma formation is tightly controlled ensuring a non-linear rise in energy. As a result, the laser energy is delivered to the targeted floater with minimal energy dispersion into surrounding tissues. Patients may require more than one session depending on the characteristics of the floater.